My name is Miriam Sherman, and this is my testimony of salvation and how God brought me to Lehigh Valley Baptist Church. I was born into a Christian home in Wisconsin and went to church every time the doors were open. I was taught from a very young age about salvation, but around the age of five, God began working in my heart about my personal need for salvation. I can remember many times being under great conviction about my sin, my guilt before God, and need for repentance but I would brush it off and wait until we left church or the service was over and try to forget about it. I can remember one particular Sunday evening, the pastor of the church preached on the reality of heaven and hell, and I knew that hell was what I deserved and certainly where I would be one day if I did not turn from my sin to the Lord. I did not address my need for salvation that night, but a few days later I went to my mom. She explained again God's plan of salvation. Although I already understood that I was a sinner before God, that I could do nothing good and needed to repent and trust in Jesus' death for me. That day, I bowed my head and repented of my sin and trusted Jesus to save me. After that day, I felt peace only God can bring, and now I wanted to obey my parents, read my Bible, choose to do right, not because it was expected of me, but because my motives were now to please and obey God. Years passed, and in my t early teenage years, I began to question whether I was saved or not. I continued to have recurring doubt through my teenage years, and though I would go to the Word of God and read and talk to God until my God doubts subsided, I never told anyone I was struggling, and I never searched myself for the reason for my doubts. In 2012, my family moved to Wyoming. Not too long after we moved there, my pastor preached a couple of series on characteristics of a disciple of Christ. I began to search my heart, and through the Word of God, I began to understand the reason for my doubts. I was a born-again believer, not because of anything I had done, but because with the faith of a child, I had repented of my sin and trusted that Jesus was the only one that could save me. But I had never made the choice to be a disciple of Christ. I was choosing my own pleasure over pleasing God. I was, as a believer, I was carnal and shallow and had grown little in my walk with Christ. These choices were just distancing me from Christ. Luke 9.23 says, If a man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. I made the decision to be a disciple of Christ, a decision I have had to repeat nearly every day. But after that point, I saw much spiritual growth in my life through, through my own study in the Word as well as through the teaching and preaching of the Word. Early in 2016, I determined that God's will for me was to be a nurse. At the time, I desired to go to a Christian college for nursing, but God closed those doors early on. Through prayer and counsel, I became convinced that I could get the needed education at a local secular college so long as I had a solid church to be grounded and invested in. I desired to begin the program in the fall of 2017, but God made it clear that his timing was for me to wait for two years. And although it was somewhat frustrating to me at the time, I can clearly see his hand guiding as I look back now. Beginning in the fall of 2017, I was challenged by godly leadership to study the doctrines of local church and baptism. Through much teaching from the scripture and my own careful study in the word, I saw that I was in error in what I believed about both the local church and baptism. After making a decision to believe what the Bible teaches about the local church, its authority from God and scriptural baptism, it soon became evident to me that I would need to move somewhere that had a scriptural local church in order to follow through with what I believed. Some time back, my church in Wyoming had Pastor Doug Hammett in to preach on a Wednesday night while he was in the area, and through him, I became somewhat familiar with LVBC. After I began seeking for a scriptural church, God brought LVBC across my radar again, and I began listening to some preaching and watched several live stream services. I knew that a scriptural church was more important than school, but I also still believed that God's timing for, for me was to start in the fall of 2019. I saw God orchestrate so many details together that led me to believe that he desired me to move to Pennsylvania and be a part of LB LBBC. I'm grateful that he moved two of my sisters here with me as well, and although chapters in life are not always easy to close, I am very excited for what the Lord has in store for this next chapter of my life here at LBBC. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. And Miriam has also been interviewed and has been recommended for church membership, and that's a motion. We need a second from one of our men. Brother Joe will take that. All those in favor of seeing her join the church tonight by way of baptism, please signify by saying amen. 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 So ordered.
My sister Miriam, based on your testimony of having experienced the new birth and being sure of your salvation and by the authority of Lehigh Valley Baptist Church, I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Buried in the likeness of Christ's death, raised in the likeness of his resurrection.